I'm in line to get masks for the coronavirus at the local community centre. And as you can see, the line kind of, it's a long line. It, there are still people like back there. There's actually two levels of lines. So there's this, the one that I'm in, um, we're going in that entrance there and that leads to the second floor. And then there's the other line up there that goes into the first floor. So they're trying to get everybody through as quickly as possible, but unfortunately numbers are going missing. So um, they hold up the line when they have to call out that number and tell them to come in so they can give them their stuff. That same uh, coronavirus mask and then today's date and the time they'll start giving them out. So they're currently serving numbers 50 to 100 and a few of those people went missing because they went to get coffee or to go hang out or whatever and um, so that meant that the lines couldn't move until they came back and they've just arrived um, so maybe we'll get moving soon but I don't know. Um, I was in line for just over an hour and as a foreigner it was a little difficult because they actually have residency lists of all the people that live there so I had to show my ID card um, to show that I am a resident and they were having trouble reading my residency card so luckily I have a driver's license as well so I gave them the driver's license and um, eventually because they couldn't find my name <laughs> because they don't have a list of foreigners um, so they just wrote my name down instead and my address and gave me one um, but yeah I did have to prove that I'm a local and my school is keeping me updated um, because obviously they want their staff to be safe and because we have close dealings with students they want the students to be safe as well um, so Right now, I'm okay. A lot of teachers are in quarantine, especially new teachers coming in, um, because you have to be safe. And um, after their quarantine periods, I guess we'll be able to start schools again. Even though the virus has hit um, South Korea pretty hard, and it is highly contagious, there are a lot of people who just don't seem to care. and. The sad part is that some of them are English teachers and American military so they're still going out on the town and they want to hang out with their friends and even though um, there have been quarantines put in place for teachers and our schools are asking us not to go anywhere, you know, it hasn't stopped a lot of the younger ones or not really the younger ones maybe just the ones with less common sense from just going out and having a good time anyway um, so that's another reason why it's spreading and of course military they want to get off base and they want to go hang out play games and South Korea has a lot of gaming game centers so they're going to those places um, where it's easy to catch the coronavirus and unfortunately that's where they're picking it up. The US military are actually doing a really good job of trying to contain it but that doesn't stop the idiots. Yeah just because you're a teacher or you're in the military does not mean that you're the brightest spark.